and go. Hey, everybody. It's Babu. Babu the Vulture. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Show Monster 2 Electric... Well, no, I can't use that anymore. Freaking white supremacists. <laughs> I'm Sirius JG. I'm Jerfold. So, you notice how... She's a, a, a couple of levels behind, but, like, Rumi's got, like, half the freaking hit points of anybody else. I guess she's got, like, 60% of the hit points of Ernie, so... Ernie doesn't... She's got some catching up to do. <laughs> oh, enemy officer defeated. All right. So, yeah, I believe... Oh, oh yeah, level... these guys. <laughs> Look at that. It's like, Rumi's wearing a uh, scuba outfit there. She's got like, uh, you see, she's got like Rumi's head poking out over some kind of diving mask, it looks like. That accursed, humongous scorpion created holes just about everywhere. So while the road is still impassable, be careful and don't fall into one. Once we get it open, travelers will be able to reach Chimoy Town to the, on the other side. Meanwhile, I'd say we're working as fast as we can, so please be patient. I mean, I see the sweat drops. They're actually moving. I don't know, man. You guys are only getting five of these done a day. And you keep talking about how much work it is, but I don't know. This guy's right next to all this. Uh, Baldy. Uncle Baldo. Yeah, Uncle Baldo's got... Has he got, like, novelty lips? He's a uh, half oh. show monster. Oh, no! He's, <laughs> he's, like, he's shopping show. us! And it's making a little star that represents pain appear over our head occasionally. If I don't get... Plunge down one of these holes first. So I'll get this job done. I'm a pro, but roads should run horizontally, not vertically, don't you think? <laughs> wow, what a racist against vertical roads. Uh, once we get things safe, we'll get more manpower right now. You can't reach Shimoy. Alright, well. Guess we can't reach Shimoy. I guess we can't reach Shimoy right now. I wonder if eventually we'll be able to reach Chamoy. One, a man can dream. <laughs> I don't know. Let's set our let's set our expectations to something realistic, so we're not disappointed. Hey, is this a giant uh, scorpion that's been causing all these problems we're talking about? <laughs> They're all over the place. See. Oh, is he got? Is he equipped with a freaking boomerang? Because he's only targeting one enemy here. I think that he's been equipped with something else just because of auto equipping ah, the best thing. Some gun. Either that, or he has that uh, spell casting one. Nope, he's just stabbing things. I think we should oh, man, fire that... Leo. He's just not making it. Say that uh, the one-eyed scorpion was laying a little limp there. If you know what I mean. We gotta take that one-eyed scorpion down to the optometrist. Caterpillar right there. Caterpillar right there. Oh, jeez, I thought that was the uh, the Triforce, but they had all these extra pieces. Surely they wouldn't just make a bunch of those up. Yeah, you can only have two pieces of the Triforce. I mean, you can't just be throwing in extra Triforce pieces. I know it's called the Triforce, but that's because the individual pieces were a Triforce, you see. You sure? Well, I guess there's nothing for it. <sighs> yeah. Well, let's take care of Babu's uh, Battle Dirk. More like Battle Jerk. Yeah, it's only a difference of four powers. <laughs> yeah. You only hit one person. Like. I mean, I guess when you're fighting one enemy, you might be occasionally like, No! Why didn't we equip the Battle Dark? We were fools! Ooh, it's a spooky new enemy. Sand Spirits. We got Sand Spirit. Yes, we do. The I Sand like Spirit. Your shadow is glowing. Oh, whoa! Power grab! She just took over uh, political power in Ernie's country. Urntopia. Ooh. Wow. You're just kind of carving up. It's a row. Kind of hoping to see what was underneath it, and, um... Surprise! It is the row. Hmm. Oh, the Hypnotoad got you. 
And yet, somehow I'm not upset at the Hypnotoad. I still want to do its will. This worked terrible last time. Why did I use it again? It was the most cost effective. I think it's because the Hypnotoad wanted me to. Alright, well, we could be here for a while. Can you hit pause on the recording? Uh, yeah, hold on. Um, no, there isn't. We just, uh, we just jump right into pooping of school. Hey, so, I guess this video, folks, will be the, the proof on whether or not we can pause in the middle with this particular recording set, set up. Because that's yep. not a thing I can do on most of my recording setups. But, we get 124 experience, 33, 133 poop, pearls, poops, I almost said. Speaking of poops, look at this town. It's poop town. It's full of poop people. I was about to tell a story about my niece, but there's no time. Okay, this is the exact location marked at that ancient text, daddy, yet. Nothing is here, no ruins, and no ancient mound that suggests a logical site to excavate, baby. Oh, I like suggestive mounds. Most worrisome. The promise you made to Lord Dark remains unfulfilled. He doesn't fit Nobunaga at all, as in retrospect, but he's like scooting around real fast. Or maybe shifting sand swept away the actual mound. Hmm. Annoying. Okay, Dr. Dome Daddy. Break out your fancy gadget, fan out, and scowl. Ah, oh, there. Yeah, I missed Home it. the desert. Uh, I call him the desert. Yeah, yeah, I found, I found shit. I miss, uh, I miss Dr. Doan talking to a guy that you voiced. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That's Dr. Doan to you, bud. I'm the reason you're standing there alive. But what happened? Watch you wipe this, baby? Uh, anyway. What a suck up. He, he brings people back to life. I you know. I must report back to Lord Dark. The generic monsters gonna get lines? No? Okay. Hey. Um, oh, I forgot what button does what for a second there. Welcome to the desert oasis town of Galahar. Reward for the dragon bone. To collect, bring the treasure to King Grangram. Signed, Mint, the Rococo Reporter. If this is a commercial center, if you want something, we can probably put it in your hand. But uh, don't accept anything they have uh, yes. using the left hand. This uh, this is the town with the two ends. The twins, <laughs> you might say. Twenty pearls. Don't try the impossible. Twenty pearls. That's outrageous. Yeah, the patch, patch, uh, patch. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like a particularly nice inn, but and uh, I mean, your HP and MP are still restored, but. but... Yeah. I feel like I know where you're going. You're still hungry. Yes. <laughs> and that was where I felt like you were going. I was gonna say, you can't talk to him from the side, but you can. This is the weapon shop. The weapon shop. Welcome behind the counter. Ooh, we can get some strange hood. Possibly made of strange wool. Look at all these urns they've got. Wow. But what are jars? Are they just fancy urns? Oh no, they ca they cast block Ernie. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here, but I do know that this is a place that had like redundant shops. So we should probably like kind of 
zip through them. Uh -huh, yeah. Come back to them later. It's a bizarre, you see. How bizarre. How bizarre. Oh, how can Iron Breast not be for the girl? Robot. It's a shell of a house. The fantasias weren't great, were they? They just pure status ailments? I think so. Weapons and armor shop, okay. Nobody can use a tomahawk. Yet. Yet. You could buy one anyway. So it feels like Black Sword might be the fancy pants weapon for the Avatar. And we can hope for a advanced boomerang. Some kind of advanced boomerang technology. This thing comes back to you, and then it goes back to the enemy again. Ah. Moon War, throw knife. Hey, soft lump, we were looking for some kind of mound, or rather the, the enemies were. <laughs> Man, so many weapons, so many armor. Ah, the battle boomerang. Yeah, alright, so we need a battle boomerang for sure. Battle ring, if you will. And did we determine that these staffs cast a spell when you attack, or is that something we might have determined in lost footage? I, I believe we determined it in lost footage, maybe with other staffs that also had spells if you attack with them. So I think it was a fire staff and an ice staff that we yes. spread out amongst the people. Attack 15 seal, attack 15 sleep. I feel like sleep is going to be more valuable than seal, but let's see if there's seal. <laughs> let's see if there's... Here we uh, get the water spell instead. You're the tool house robot. I don't want to talk to you. Weapons and armor shop. Alright, so I think we thought black sword looked like it was going to be the best thing for the avatar. Yep. And if I, we find that there was something better for Avatar in a later, earlier shop, rather, I won't freak out about it too much. This was like the specialty earn people armor store. So Magic Cloak might be the best thing for her, but he needs... An artisan. An artisan. Artisanal nice herb full of artisanal cheeses. Slap the hood of it. You can fit so many artisans in here. I mean, I think we should buy at least one of these and try using it in combat. Well, I feel like it might be an accessory for him. Oh, like you equip it on him and then he can use it as a spell. Yeah, that's my... That's what I'm kind of thinking. Wait, what? He's still using the Iron Sword. He switched to an Iron Sword from a Battle Dirk or something. <laughs> Ooh, but look at that defense power bonus. For only the low cost of 5 attack power, you can get 10 defense power. I don't understand how that even happened, because it showed it giving him more attack power, I thought. When you hit auto, it switched it from something else to that, so we, we had something that was in the 80s. Well, so now I'm thinking we shouldn't have bought the black sword because I almost always go I with think attack. It's better. Yeah, but I always go with attack over defense for my main melee. But it's, it's I not... know, and Jack Sword always chooses HP when she's leveling up Mario. Yeah, well, two wrongs don't make a right, but one right and one wrong makes one right and one wrong. Okay, but three rights make a left. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Uh, he's got the monk medal for an accessory. No, I want a power jar. Yeah, okay. He's got two accessory slots. We gotta get the other one too now. Yep. No, that's what I figured. But I wanted to check and make sure that's what it was before we got ahead of ourselves. And now we gotta give somebody the monk medal. 
the power jar is used for unlocking pickles. Pickles. Yeah, like pickle. Yeah, they get the lid off the jar. I don't know what the monk metal is doing, but I give it to her anyway. Maybe it's an accessory. Well, it's an accessory, but maybe it's like you can use it in battle. That'll do a thing. We're gonna get the worst rewards from some of these timed rewards just based on frame skips, so. <laughs> now, we got her a magic cloak. Strange hoods. The 300, let's buy two, and if we turn out that we're wrong, so be it. It'll take us a little bit longer to build whatever the hell in that new town. Like, at least we found the town this time. That's true. We didn't find it last time in the lost footage. Whoever was supposed to be keeping track of that stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't think we were following a. Uh... Yeah, an FAQ. I'm trying to find out what these jars do, for sure, but it's not, uh... The person that wrote the FAQ was using a, the Japanese version of the game, and the, the yeah. uh... The, st the shrine at snesrpggaming.woodly.com. Home of the RPG Insane. <laughs> does not have the equipment list set up, because they can't update the cert anymore. Well, they're hardly worth the, the uh, major money that we paid for the use of their services now, are they? Uh, yeah, that's true. Oh. What a great hell! Now, the Avatar could afford to shed a few pounds, but uh, we're not gonna pick on. Oh, you can use a shield with the boomerang. Apparently the power boomerang, if we get one of those, costs power. <laughs> well, that's it, my... I thought we couldn't use uh, shields with the boomerang. Now, oh, I, there you go. As I say that, that doesn't make sense. Unless you need two hands to catch it when it comes back. Well, it depends on how dexterous you are. Well, usually you put in enough points of dexterity to get max block, but it's important that you do it while equipped with your shield so that you don't overspend, because you should be putting the remainder into Vitality. Anyway. What's the name of the town we're in? Uh... Rinsburgen? Rinsburgen? It's, uh... Desert Town. I see. I'll look at the stamp locations, okay. and that'll tell me where we are. It's not your boy. Hey, it's your boy! Galahar. This is Desert Town of War Garble. Now I gotta check what time was we started, like how much we got left in this video, because I got confused. <laughs> oh man, there's Galahar, there's an ice rod around here somewhere. Oh nice. We should have a fire rod in our inventory, but maybe not yet. I feel like sleep is probably more valuable than mute. So uh, let's buy two sleep sleep staffs. They help you sleep. So apparently these uh oh, hold on. jars you got. That was the is Ernie equipped with? Because we we need to give that to uh, Romelia since he never attacks anyway. He's got the silver knife. Yeah, you know if he can stab once, he can stab twice. Although she can use the stabs as well. Yeah, I gave her the silver knife. Um, because she, well, you know what? Still might be better to have sleep staff on one of them because it does significantly. I mean, you have both attack in round one, and if it works, then you're like great. And if they don't, then. Eh. Um, so apparently, me. the jars are called pottery glaze. 
uh, something else glaze here. Ceramic glaze. But it just has effect to cast blocks, so I think you have to go into your inventory and use the item uh, when you're in combat. The, uh... Either that or you're just going to have extra spells in your list. Hooray, stranger. <laughs> Welcome to my business called the Powder Keg. Have you journeyed far? Well, we have something for everyone in Galahar. I didn't get the Assuming answer. you want to buy explosives. <laughs> Did you know I'm providing the powder for five Jodan Circus shoots? I jolly well am. Your next five visits to the Jodan Circus as part of the story will all be powered by my explosives. This popular tradition is big here because of the distance. And I have plenty of powder. Oh, good, Everyone cause... just loves the way these cannons go off and then all of our children turn into pigs. It's amazing. I'm glad you have plenty of powder because I'm starting to chafe a little bit in this heat. By the way, I offer wholesale prices for you. 500 pearls. Yes, no. Uh, I'm sure last time we saved... I don't know. Last time we bought it right away because we were like, why not? And later on we were like, oh man, maybe that would have been different. But... I don't know. I think you have to be buy, I think you have oh, to we buy need, it. Someone's going to be like, hey, I need some explosive powder from the town. Okay, I'll go get it. Well, I just said no, so. The timeline is separate, is different, is different now. The highlight of the circus is this human cannibal trick. Three acts in all. As a come on to attend the main show, the circus shoots people out of a cannon. For your information, just for illustration, we have a gunpowder vendor right here in town. She'll sell to anyone. That doesn't sound like a compliment. Just like anybody comes in, she'll just sell them high explosives. But uh, surely there is a... Uh, I shouldn't call you Shirley. Um, there must be... Oh, boy, I found a stamp. <laughs> That's what I was trying. I was searching for the word stamp, and then the game just gave it to me. Collected 11 stamps. I mean, I mean, say what you will about a blind prostitute. Okay. But you really gotta hand it to them. Welcome one night will cost you 200 pearls! What? No, we're gonna go sleep at that. Yeah, but look at the beds! They're in a room and they have pillows. Mm, well, that's true. Can't claim that this is not as nice a hotel. A little desk where you can pretend to do some work, but really you're just looking through the leaflet to see what there is in this town. Oh, or hiding under the desk, apparently. <laughs> it's a very tall desk. <laughs> I thought it was a door. I was like, oh, look, it is a, there's a direct, it's a motel. There's a direct entrance to your room from the street. Man, if we pay extra, do we get... No, no, someone's already in the fancy room that gets a different color. Well, it's a blue room and an orange room, so depending on your mood. <laughs> what is this pic? Oh, it's supposed to be a, like a person in a hood. If you're up for it, Chamoy is quite a long walk east of this town. Even more distant, I've heard about a place where you must die to enter. Odd, huh? Yes, yeah, the graveyard. People are just dying to get in. <laughs> Yeah, when I was uh, younger, I had uh, to go to a child psychologist, uh, but that kid did nothing for me. Ah, uh, remember this town? Yes, they do. We got I walls. Was thinking. We got we got wall puzzles, folks. We got walls for days. <laughs> they have cracks for weeks. We got weak cracks. No, you can't just jump to the roof directly next to the wall. What were you thinking? You weren't this thinking, that's your problem. This isn't some action parkour movie. A one tile crack in the wall? Nice try, buddy. It's like in Pokemon. It's like, I can't get past, uh... Snorlax is one thing, but like, it's like oh, there's a tiny hedgerow that's like, coming up to my shin. I will never be able to get past it. My friend Burl went to the circus, but as a return, I'm really worried. 
If you ask me, I believe something really strange is going on at the Jodan Circus. Eh, kid, you're Don't paranoid. Say. You're paranoid, kid. What the hell? Anyway, I'm glad we uh, navigated all the way to you. That was a great use of our time. I know there's a ladder. What the? F we didn't finish exploring the other way. There is no other way. The other way is how we got up. I think it's too dangerous for children to run and play on top of the wall. Stop encouraging them. Well, you go tell them then, you fool. It troubles me greatly, but I can't get them to quit going on it. I can quit doing it and come down. I mean, what if there's an incredibly uh, wealthy and powerful blonde noble brother and sister up there who are doing it, <laughs> and they have to push the kid out of the window to cover up their secret? You never know what might happen. Spoilers for the very first episode of a TV show, so not really spoilers at all. If you don't tell them what show it is, is it truly a spoiler? Well, I, that's, I was kind of doubling my uh, chances of not spoiling. Did you see the circus yet? Yeah, like, oh, yo, <laughs> did you see the circus yet? Yeah, yo, the most talented pigs are in the trapeze sack. Well, these talented pigs jump through the fire ring. We just connected the dots on part of the map, see? <laughs> and you wanted to go around the long way. How long way you? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm right. Well, I mean, I, I, I won't let it bother me too much. It's not like it's going to be a recurring issue. Oh, man, it's getting complicated now. Yep. Because we got to figure out how to get to that jar, folks. It's taunting us. And it is possible, I know. We did it last time before I started having computers blowing up. Oh, I think, you, like I think you figured it out. <gasps> a godly treat. A godly treat. I do, I do miss the fact that it used to be like three uh, windows that you had to click through to get just a godly treat. <laughs> you found a godly treat. Avatar you got a godly scored treat. godly treat. Godly treat was placed in, in, into inventory. <laughs> Would you like a description of what a godly treat is? Yes, no. Are you sure you don't want to hear about the godly treat? Yes, no. <laughs> Suit yourself. I can read this one too. This is an original. He was the uncrowned king of the famous desert bandits. When I was a kid, all of the youngsters wanted to grow up to be just like him. We heard he discovered some amazing ancient temple that contained fabulous treasures. But that was a long time ago. Today, he's just another tired old man who lives quietly. Wow, he found a ton of treasure and retired? What a surprise. It's like Poncho and Lefty, you know. Spare thought for old uh, Lefty. He only did what he had to do. the finest entertainment they've seen. So stick around and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just let me loosen up these pants. Ooh, I like there's a spider web in the corner. I want to see the spider web. <laughs> okay. Doesn't contain like secret item golden spider. It's just ambiance. What's in the jar? Ice rod. Oh, yeah. Bitches. So we shouldn't have bought any of that stuff for them. Because we'll find the flame rod, I think, in this similar circumstance. That's circumstantial. 
Circumstantial is weaker evidence, but it's still evidence. Which is, you know, more than people need to jump to conclusions nowadays. I got a great idea for a game. Okay. <laughs> You jump to conclusions. Mm -hmm. The uh, famous desert bandits were the best in all the region, nay, in all the land. I hear their spirits still reside in wells and sewers where they once hid. Sounds like a great uh, way to spend your afterlife. Sounds pretty neat. The Devil jump. Sewer. <laughs> jump around the Devil's Sewer. This place is called the Devil's Butthole. Hey, yeah. Uh, I'm the one and only super fabulous human cannonball! We're on break today, so I thought I'd have myself a little stroll around town. I can only speak once. I advise you to go for a stroll around town. I don't make the rules. <laughs> I can only tell you that one thing. Yes, it's like a holiday every single time the circus hits one of these bergs. So they travel with the circus, they're not locals. No, so even though the cannons seem to be a permanent fixture. Yeah, which we'll see the cannons later, folks. They do appear to be a permanent fixture. But uh, they are therefore, yeah. even if not willing or knowledgeable about it, they are party to this whole children being kidnapped and turned into pigs thing. Don't tell my mother I'm down here. She's always giving me chores. Oh, I hope we can rat this kid out. Dooley, 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 we told your mother. This looks like uh, really nice. <laughs> Child in the barrels hand. will remember this. Want some advice? Don't ever have children. <laughs> Man, like half of my audience are dads. The other half would be me and all. <laughs> <laughs> This is the flame rod. I'm gonna call this video a win and get out while we're ahead. Oh no! We got Coggy. Blame me, old Hotman. Well, I don't know exactly where the flame rod is, but we are. It is time to call it a video, and I kind of wanted to. Uh, I think the flame rod would actually be in a different dungeon. In a different dungeon. The flame rod might be in another castle. Well, your flame rod, anyways. Well, I mean, I know where to keep mine. All right, well, that being the case, uh, maybe the wisest and best is to focus our attention on the good and the beautiful and to call it a video. When we come back next time, um, flame rod, maybe, yeah. or maybe not. Remember, folks, if your rod is flame, and ask your doctor how uh, panacea can work for you. But uh, ice rod, that one, you're just going to have to solve the bottle of lotion. See you next time.